Hey kids, it's Mr. Mendoza. And it's time for art. And today we will draw a coyote. Before we get started, I have a couple of tips here to help us with our drawing today. Some of the shapes we use today will have rounded corners. When I was little, I used to take things and trace them like lids or even quarters and pennies. And I'd sit and trace them to make my little characters and stuff. It's a good little trick, so um, today I thought I'd just show a cup and talk about how to trace it. So, one thing you need to do is make sure that you hold it down really tight and really strong so that way it doesn't go sliding everywhere and mess up your circle. So hold down real snug. Make sure your pencil touches the edge. All right, let's go halfway. And then connect. There we go. All right, so what I want to do next is kind of use the circle and I'm gonna make like a diamond around it lightly. It's got like a little house, like a top of a house. And then we'll connect it down here to the sides of the circle. There we go. Using some sketchy lines. That way I keep it light. And if I need to erase it, I can erase it later. Remember, if you need to use your hand to erase it, that's fine. I like to use a paintbrush. If you have a paintbrush handy, it's great. All right, so it's kind of the shape of the coyote's head here. What I want to do is kind of put the nose down. So I'm going to do a, like a rounded rectangle or an oval, whatever easier for you. I'm going to take it from the bottom of the circle and maybe like, I think halfway, halfway through this circle here, if that helps you. And we're keeping our light little lines here. There we go. All right, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna put these ears on. So keeping with the rounded shape thing, we're gonna make these A-shaped ears, but we're gonna round off the tips that are not pointy. And kind of like a fox, they have these big ears here we go. So I'm going to kind of start right here in this corner by the, the edge of the circle here. And draw them up. And then round them down. Same thing here. There we go. All right, so what I wanna do is they have a long snout so their nose kind of sits close by the bottom of this little rectangle or oval we drew. So this is where I'm gonna do my little roundy or rounded square. Okay. And let's just fill that guy in right now. Very good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is add some zigzag fur. So I start at the top of the head here. So I already got this like diamond shape here. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of use it to help my eyes see what's happening. And I don't want to go too many zigzags, but enough to show that we're trying to show that this animal is furry. So I'm gonna do it to the cheeks here too, using that diamond shape. So I'm gonna come out here and just kind of. Give them some shaggy cheeks. Zigzags. Remember in nature, nothing's perfect. So if it's not perfect, it doesn't look like mine, that's fine. Because every coyote, every animal, they kind of have different fur anyways. All right, then we're gonna do the little furry neck here. There we go. All right, and like I said, you can erase this stuff now. You can erase it later, it's all good. I'm gonna keep going. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna do the mouth. So I'm gonna use the bottom of the circle here to do that mouth. And what I'm gonna do is um, do a stretched out W and here's a regular W, right? Pointy. So what I'm gonna do is do a, like a lowercase one, but way stretched out. And I'm gonna start at the edge of the shape. Here 
can make it even darker. All right. Then next, I'm gonna put a little rounded chin under here. So you can start at the edge of the mouth to the other edge of the mouth there. All right. Looking good. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is start adding more first. So let's put a little zigzaggy kind of happening in the center here. And let's actually put the eyes in. So down right here, let's line up the mouth and the eyes again. So I'm gonna just do a little circle here, a little dark dot. Okay, and we'll put some little patches around the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is kind of like, maybe do like a Y shape. Here, we'll do kind of the same thing. And then I'm gonna add little squiggles or little zigzag again around the eyes. All right, not bad. Then we add a little bit of fuzz inside the ears. Okay, now, just like some of the wolves and bobcats and wildcats we've done before, they almost have that little white beard happening. So this is like a two-tone animal where it has a, a darker coat and a lighter coat underneath. So I'm gonna kind of lay in that area. So I'm gonna start kind of by the nose and make some little squiggly lines going up, the shape we used here. Okay, and then it kind of comes by the eyes and let's just have it zigzag out or squiggly line out. All right. Now what I wanna do next is give it some whiskers. So these um, you just have little whiskers coming off the side of their nose like that. Let's put the little dots in. Keep it simple. And the last things I want to do is let's go back and start darkening some of these outlines. And darkening the outlines will help us know which lines we need to keep and which ones we can erase too so there's one reason I like to do the light drawings that way I can make those choices and then the choices aren't done and I won't get upset because I have to start all over or erase everything like crazy erased you just fix it erase some of that circle and remember some of that circles meant to stay so don't erase all of it all right there we go missed the spot up here And there we have it, our little coyote. We can use kind of the same format, but just a little more advanced skills, techniques. So I'm gonna go back to using the cup. This time I'm gonna go a little lighter. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna start off just like I did with the beginner. Kind of go over this little diamond shape. Remember, if I go too fast, you guys go ahead and rewind or pause it. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep it light. Okay, in the same way. Thinking halfway the circle, bring that oval or a rounded square, rectangle, same thing. Okay. 
keeping that nose low. So keeping this nose low to the edge of the circle oval here. Same thing, we're gonna do the mouth, stretched out W right there. And for this one, we're gonna do kind of like the corner of the mouth, drag it out just a little more, like a little dot. Then the chin, the chin kind of lines up with that shape we made. I know if mine's a little crooked, I'm gonna fix that. All right. Get those ears going. See the area I'm trying to mark it here on both sides with a circle and the diamond touch. And keep in mind they do have big ears. So we're gonna go up, round them off, keeping that light drawing. It's okay to make a bunch of lines. I do all the time. Gives me extra chances to choose the best lines. go all right let's start laying out that fur around the face so now that we're here let's just do little squiggles all right so let's continue adding some zigzag lines to the cheeks so we can get that fur going that fuzz remember it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't even have to be even look at the sides that one's sticking out more than that one Remember, nature things are kind of random, so it's okay if it doesn't match or it's a little off. Makes it more interesting. All right, now I'm gonna do the ears. Got this pattern in there, a lot of, a lot of hair in there. Fuzzy ears. And the hair even kind of crisscrosses like this, back and forth at each other. All right. And you got like this little fuzz line going down the center. All right. Kind of like the wildcat, we even have some curved lines beside the face. Let's get those eyes drawn on. So let's match up the mouth line. Just keep it real simple. Talk the top layer here, put some shading by the nose going up by the eyes and kind of give that little like beard look. So take this little squig of the line to the edge. So this top area will be darker than this bottom area. So I have those little dots by the nose. Okay, a couple whiskers. Just look like a little, little mustache. All right, now. Let's we'll start kind of erasing some of these lines that we don't need. It might seem like a lot of work, but in the end it'll be worth it. These little work lines, I like to call them. Some of them are designed not to last, so when you have no more use for them, they go bye-bye, all right? Some of these lines we can keep, sometimes they make good shading. So most of the time I don't like to erase all of them. This kind of adds to the picture. You'll see when we do the advanced coyote face that we leave a lot of these lines in there. So one of the last steps I wanna do here is add like a little patches of hair around the eyes. A lot of times just zigzags or scribble lines. All right, here we go. All right, now I'm gonna redefine the outline of the ear. I feel like these ones got too bunny-like on me, so I'm gonna make them a little, little pointier, but still with a rounded tip. There we 
go. All right. And we can kind of shade. Notice how I'm putting my pencil sideways. Get a nice little color in there. Leave those patches around the eyes white. See, I missed some spots. Let's get some erase in there, fix those. All right, anywhere you think it needs to get a little darker, come back and work on that. Add a couple little lines just for fuzz. Don't want to get too carried away. Save it all for the advanced version of this. And I think that's it for this one. Good job. All right, ready for that advanced coyote? Here we go. So I kind of started already with the cup, traced, light circle. I'm going to quickly lay out that diamond shape. Remember if I go too fast, stop it, pause it, go back. Get my sketchy lines, try to lay the stuff out correctly. So here's the edge of the ears, kind of draw up like a rounded, rounded tip a shape kind of bigger at the bottom there same thing here a lot of sketch lines remember some of these don't have to stay up and race them later all right <clears throat> let's see and then i'm gonna do like an oval or it could be like a rounded rectangle too Right here, starting at the bottom of the circle we drew. You see, I put that line, cut that circle in half for the eyes, and drag the oval all the way to the line. All right, and I'm gonna start placing the nose. All right. So in the other ones, I just kept it kind of a rounded square, but on this one, more advanced, we're gonna kind of make the bottom a little pointy. Now there's more detail in that nose, but um, for right now, we're just gonna keep it solid. All right, moving along. Do that W mouth, right on the line of that circle. Okay, and then we're gonna kind of drag it up, make these little corners. All right, not bad. Okay. I'm gonna start with the eyes here and kind of lay them out. They kind of have slanted eyes. So we'll kind of have this little shape like that. Give them their sneaky little look. Slanted little circles. And just... All right. Dark little pupil staring at us. All right, moving along, we're gonna add some fur at the top. And zigzag and lines just to kind of make it look like a lot of texture. Let's separate the head from the ears a little bit like that. Go to the side of the cheeks using zigzags and lines for fur. Remember nature is random, it's out of control, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, forgot to put the chin in there. Let's put the chin. There we go. All right, put a couple little dots here by the muzzle. All right. Put a few more whiskers here and there. All right, I'll get out of your way for a second. Looking it over, okay, let's get to the ears, add some fur in there. Kind of do these curves, like the edge of the ear wraps around. All right, then 
the ears are just filled with hair, so. All right, so we got the ones going out, and then there's other ones that kind of going in, like a crisscross, so. There we go. Now I'm gonna kind of like frame the face here, so around the muzzle, we're gonna do a little shading, going up. Okay, and then kind of under the eye like that, almost like a pointy triangle shape happening there. Like cheekbones. And I'm gonna kind of come out to the sides. And keep it shady, keep it squiggly. We don't want a solid line there. Okay, and then a little bit down here just for... They have a lot of crazy colors on their fur. All right, then we'll put a little couple patches above the eye. Start with a curve. For the beginner and the uh, intermediate, I kind of did like a, almost like a curved Y shape. You can kind of keep that going if you like. Then we kind of had like this little divider in the middle. And I kind of did some scribbly V shapes or Y shapes going down just to kind of get that center. They kind of have like the top head like a wolf. But just remember the big difference is the ears, the big old ears and the skinny little long snout. So make some different. All right. And also let's get some, kind of like the wildcat, they got a couple of areas of st striping, subtle striping. Okay, looking good. So what I want to do next is kind of, I guess, outline, darken and outline some of the areas so we can start finishing this up. So remember, look at your guidelines and see what you like, keep what you like. The other ones we can leave because sometimes they help with shading or we can just erase them. A lot of people like that half done, shaded, sketchy look, so depending on what you like. Add a little darkness inside that ear. I'll come back and shade that in a minute. Okay. Define some of these areas better. All right, so definitely want to get rid of that. Okay, and I use my paintbrush to kind of get some rid of some of this dust so I don't smear my picture. If you don't have a paintbrush, it's okay. Just use your hand, just be gentle, you know, lightly, quickly. All right, some of these lines I'm gonna keep. And some I'm gonna leave some of them there. All right. I want to clear this area out. I want this to be a little lighter. All right. So I'm going to start shading. Do your best to try to keep it even. I shade really fast because I've been doing this forever. If you need to take your time, that's okay. Remember, this is a video. I can't st stay all day shading for you guys. Be careful when you get around the eyes. You want those little patches around the eyes to kind of stay light. Oh, I didn't define that. Here we go. Kind of make a separation. Kind of the little like light patches around the eyes. Make some pop. And if your shading isn't dark enough, go ahead and go back, put some new layers over it. See you next time and keep arting.